Good morning, viewers. Today we are going to see about the Mahiri Parks. I am Bula Dallas, Associate Professor, Community Health Nursing. Mahiri Parks is a zoonotic pox virus infection. It can occur in both humans and some other animals also. It is caused by a double-stranded DNA virus in the genus Orthopox virus family Poxviridae. The virus is found mainly in tropical rainforest regions of Central and West Africa. Let's see about the history of this monkeypox. It was first identified in 1958 among laboratory monkeys in Copenhagen, Denmark. But monkeys are not a natural reservoir of this virus. The first cases in the humans were found in 1970 in the Congo. WHO surveillance between 1981 to 1986, they were recorded 338 confirmed cases and 33 death due to this monkeypox and case fatality rate was 9.8 percentage. During 1996 to 1997, a second outbreak of monkeypox was happened. During that time, 511 human illness was identified in Zaire, Congo. 2003, the next outbreak was happened. It was happened in the outside of the Af Africa, in the Midwestern United States, was among 71 owners of pet dogs, but none were, were died. 2017 September, human monkeypox re-emerged in Nigeria. The large Belsa state was the first state in Nigeria to have reported this outbreak. 2022 no human to human transmission was documented in europe 2017 to 2022 national center for disease control states that 230 cases were confirmed across 20 states and the federal capital territory during 2020 22 as per british health authorities the monkey pox outbreak represent the first incidence of widespread community transmission in the united kingdom with subsequent cases confirmed in at least 20 countries in europe north and south america asia north africa and australia let's see the history of monkeypox in india india was the 10th country to report a monkeypox case in asia and the first in south asia 14th july was the first case identified in kerala currently in india we have 10 confirmed cases of monkeypox 3 of them in kerala 5 in delhi 2 in telangana and we have some suspected cases that is mainly 8 cases in delhi the causative organism for monkeypox is human metra pneumovirus that is mp we can call it as mpv or hmpv it is a species of double stranded dna virus which causes monkeypox in humans and other animals it belongs to the genus arthropovirus in the family poxviridae monkeypox virus is one of the human arthropovirus along with variola cowpox and vac vaccinia viruses mode of transmission how this monkeypox is transmitted transmitting from one to another Humans can be infected by an animal via a bite or by direct contact with an infected animal's bodily fluids. The virus can also spread from human to human by respiratory, that is, airborne contact or by contact with an infected person's bodily fluids. The risk factors for the monkeypox transmissions are sharing a bed or room with the infected person, using the same utensil as an infected person. Further research about the transmission of the strain responsible for the 2022 outbreak is ongoing. The incubation period of monkeypox is range from 5 to 21 days. Incubation period means that uh, microorganism enter into the body and when the signs and symptoms comes out, that duration is called incubation period. So for this monkeypox, it is takes 5 to 21 days. The clinical manifestations of monkeypox are headache, muscle pain, fever, fatigue. It may initially appear like flu. It resembles chickenpox, measles, and smallpox. 
but it is distinguished by the presence of lymphadenopathy these characteristically appear behind the ear below the jaw in the neck or the groin before the onset of the rash within a few days of the fever the lesions characteristically appear on the face later palms of the hands of the feet that is uh, the centrifugal distributions of the uh, lesions happening they become a small flat spots before becoming small bumps which fill with the first clear fluid then it will become a yellow fluid subsequently it will be burst and the scrap will be formed and this lesions it looks identical to the rash of smallpox typically last around 10 days and affected persons may remain unwell for 2 to 4 weeks after healing the lesions may leave pale marks before becoming dark scars how to diagnose this monkeypox the polymerase chain reaction that is that is the pcr test of samples from skin lesions is the preferred laboratory test to find out the monkeypox it is usually inconclusive because the virus does not remain very long period in the blood to interpret test results information is required on the date of the onset of fever onset of the rash especially specimen collections current stage of the rashes management of monkeypox in the european union and the united states they are prescribing tecovirimex the tablet they are prescribing the empirical antibiotic therapy or acyclovir may be used if secondary bacterial or varicella zoster infection is suspected respectively the supportive care will be antipyretic fluid balance and the oxygenation the common managements or symptomatic treatment that is fever and pain management eye skin and mouth care respiratory care hydration and nutritional support mental health support prevention and treatment of complications infection or prevention and control of this monkeypox the expected complications due to monkeypox are it is due to in secondary infections like pneumonia sepsis encephalitis and loss of vision if infection occurs during pregnancy stillbirth or birth defects may occur the disease may be milder in people vaccinated against smallpox in childhood period let's see about the preventive measures of monkeypox first foremost is raising awareness among the public so avoid unprotected close contact with the infected person or infected animal wash hands frequently with soap and water after carrying for or visiting a sick people or handling the sick animal thoroughly cook all foods containing animal meat wash all cooking vessels properly use personal protective equipment when carrying for patients don't share bedding clothing towels or utensils with the sick people avoid contact with the wild animals especially those from sick or dead isolate infected patients in hospitals or at home the main important preventive measure is vaccination the smallpox vaccinations in united states centers for disease control and prevention recommends that the person in outbreaks and caretakers for infected individuals or animals should receive a smallpox vaccination to protect against monkeypox next thing is isolation an infected person should be isolated in preferably a negative air pressure room or at least a private exam room to keep others from possible contact and the third thing is pp for all the healthcare team workers let me conclude this topic this disease that is the monkeypox and like smallpox it is a typical zoonosis most cases occur as a result of direct contact with an infected animal so the prevention is better than cure thank you for your patience listening